Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a tasty vegan chocolate dessert. In one of my last videos, I showed you how to make soya dream or a, a vegan single cream equivalent for a fraction of the cost in about one minute. One minute vegan cream. Really easy, really simple. But that gave me an idea. If you can thicken something quite simply just by using oil, what else can you do? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a tasty vegan chocolate dessert. It's using a few simple ingredients. Soy milk, some oil, some icing sugar, and some cocoa powder. So let's get started. Step one. I've got about 200 ml of soy milk. Into that, I'm going to add a very generous spoonful of icing sugar. And into that, I'm going to add an equally generous spoonful of cocoa powder. Next, I'm going to get a little bit of a mix, just to kind of integrated to begin with. The next part is to start to blend. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to start to blend and as I blend I'm going to add in uh, some oil. And I'm going to keep adding oil until I get the thickness that I'm looking for. So here we go. Pretty thick, stiff chocolate here, and here we have it. A little bit of oil, whisk, and you can see that's quite firm. Now, depending on how firm you heat it, you can add more or less oil. This is a particularly firm pudding. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in a mold and then present it on the plate so you can see what, you know, what it would look like. Incidentally, it's the same process you'll use to thicken to make a mayonnaise, but we season it. I'll show you that in our next video. So here we have it. Our finished chocolate dessert. As you can see, structure-wise, it's held up quite well. And depending on how solid or how firm a mousse you wanted, will depend on how much you blended it, you whisked it with you whisk, and also, in particular, how much oil you added. For this particular one, the ratio is about two parts soy milk to roughly three parts oil. As always, the recipe be in the description. So there we have it. A simple, cheap, quick, tasty, very, very, very rich chocolate dessert that you made yourself. And it's even made without requiring refrigeration. Perfect. So once again, thanks for joining me at Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to be kept up to date with our latest videos. Food Tech 101 is also on Facebook, so check out our page there. And we're also on Instagram, so check out our page there at Food Tech 101. My name is Mr. Lieber, you can call me Sir. A thing we know.